Hi, I'm Leah Saunders and I work at NZCER in Assessment Services. I've made some short videos to show you how to navigate through the ARB site. Hopefully these videos are nice and helpful. This video is going to show you how to save an ARB to a folder that you might have, how to do a little bit of searching, and also what the different ARB resources entail. The first thing I'm going to do is do an advanced search to find a resource. I'm going to look for a number in algebra resource. I want number strategies, a level three resource for my students working at curriculum level three. And I want an online interactive resource, one that students can use a URL to go into without having to log in. My keyword is going to be multiplication because I've been working on some of those strategies in my class. And then I'm going to do a search. It's given me 47 resources that I can choose from that are connected to my options up here. I'm going to go into this one here. Now this one, preparing food for the hungry, this is available via PDFs, so I could actually download it and print it out for my students. But I do want them to go in online. It's nice and easy and it will put the results in my account for me once students have completed. When you first go in, you can see that this is what the student's resource looks like. This is exactly what they see here. If I click at this side here and look at using this resource, it just tells me what kind of things I can do with it. So I can use a pencil and paper activity, or I can use online and it's auto marked by the system. If I go connect to the curriculum, it tells me that this is a level three resource, other curriculum information that I need, the keywords that are held in the system for this particular one, a short description of what the students will be doing. There's a link to national standards in here. We need to just focus on what curriculum information this is giving us. So, so solving whole number problems. There's a bit on the learning progression framework that you can go into using some links, or you can go into another link and read more about that. Once students have completed the resource, this shows you how it was for them. So what we would expect this resource to be like for these students. This is a year six student, because it's a level three resource, we're looking at year five and six, but this is showing you that if a year six completed this resource, then that these questions would be found to have this level of difficulty. So the second question, for example, is quite easy for an average year six student. If we go down further and we look at the working with students section, it gives the teacher a whole lot of information that might be useful when you're teaching these students. So if you really wanted to focus in on how students responded, you can analyze some of their results by looking at some of the misconceptions that they might have had or some of the errors they might have made when answering. So it gives you an example of how the students might have answered, what the error might have been, a common error that students might have, and then what you possibly could do next to help these students out, with links as well to other resources in the ARBs. If we click on further resources, here's a list of all the resources that are similar to the Packing Food for the Hungry ARB resource that we had. You could share these with your students to give them some more practice on these concepts. Let's go back to the teacher view. Now I've looked through this resource and I've found that it is exactly what I want for my students. Because I want them to complete this resource online, I need to save it to my folders so that I can share the URL. And once the students have completed the resource using the URL, I know that all their results will be saved into my folder. So what I'm going to do up here is just go straight to save to my folders. Now I know that this is a number level three resource and at the moment I don't have a folder that's set up for level three. So I'm just going to do that now. 
So I'm going to create a new folder and call it number level three. Now I know it's been saved to my folders because at the top here it says remove from my folders. So it has been saved in there. That's how you save a resource to your folder.